Rightio folks, this is what we're going to be making today. A beef mince and cheese pie in an air fryer in 20 minutes. Right, let's get cooking. Right, the first of our ingredients today is going to be the onion. Now I'm only going to make two pies today because primarily my pie ma my pie maker my air fryer only holds will only do one of these at a time so I'm only going to do two so red onion chopped up nice and finely as finely as you can straight into the saucepan then we'll go in with our meat. Alright, so firstly the tiniest drops of olive oil and then our red onion. And then once that's got up to speed, a mince. Also you'll want to grate around about a cup of cheddar cheese. Right, now into this little ramekin I'm going to place about one and a half teaspoons of, oh actually that's a, a bit much, I'll just take, <laughs> take that out. A heaped teaspoon is plenty, okay, of corn flour. And then we're going to get an OXO cube and we'll crumb that into there as well. So just crumb it in. And that will make up our gravy. It's going to go around the meat. And, and the meat is only going to have, as you can see, red onion in it. Um, plus this gravy. So as much of the meat flavour as I want will come through. And hopefully, because the experiences of the past have taught me the flavours when you cook with an air fryer are absolutely fantastic, but hopefully it's going to happen again. Right, in with our ground beef. Very lean this. And then when that's all browned, I'll come back. Now once your meat is browned, remember to drain any fat first before adding anything else. Right, now we're going to add, and I forgot all about this, is a couple of teaspoons of soy sauce. So, and I've changed elements because um, you can't see for all the steam coming off. And it's because it's quite a humid day here today. So, um, I've got all the doors open. But it's still sending <laughs> plumes of steam. Right, so I put that in. I'm now going to add <coughs> my corn flour and oxo cube powder. We'll add that. And then I'll stir that through and then we'll come back. Right, that's nice and thick now. So we can turn this over off, let it cool, and then we'll put it into our pie. Right, so firstly we're going to prepare our pastry. And we're just going to cut around about... I guess that's... half a centimetre. Away from the edge, so we get a, 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 a circle of pastry bigger than the diameter of the pastry of the pie dish itself. Sorry, <laughs> I think I've lost all my words today. Anyway, we'll just peel those back and then we'll shape them into the pie dishes themselves. Now these are non-stick so I don't need to 
do anything to them but it's such a humid day actually I might just put some flour inside them and in a moment of sheer brilliance I've decided to put the flour on the pastry itself <laughs> because that's a far better idea isn't it John right so I'm going to push it in here and just fold it over where it, it's kind of seemingly wants to overlap and then push these overhanging bits out so we've got a, a decent amount to play with when we're going to seal these pies up now I could just break an egg into one of these ramekins in fact I will and give it a stir so that we've got some egg to seal the top with. Now we're just going to brush the outside bits here and do that before you put the filling in because what tends to happen otherwise is you tend to get filling on the parts you're trying to seal. Right let's go and roll out the tops Okay, well here's our first one, and we'll just load that up, look at that beautiful meat and that thick gravy around it, and it's going to be one tasty pie. We don't want to overfill it, otherwise it'll be spewing, spewing meat all over my oven. Right, let's just get those little bits of cheese inside there. And then let's put our top on. Just loosely press it down. I'm going to cut around the outsides. There we are. There. Done that. And now, just to make sure, we can use our fork just to crimp the edges, make sure that it doesn't spew out there. But equally so, we need to make sure that it's got some breathing too. So we're going to put some holes in the top there. There we go. All we need to do now is egg wash the top and then that's ready to go into our air fryer. Now these would normally take 35 minutes in the oven so I'm figuring we only need around about 20 minutes or two lots of 10 minutes in the air fryer. Rightio, when I come back we'll be air frying. Right, I preheated my air fryer, 180 degrees, and I put one pie in there, just be very careful. And we've got it 20 minutes at 180. So we'll come back when that's um, beeping at me and have a look. Okay, there it is, straight out of the air fryer after just 20 minutes. Let's serve that up. Okay, so we've just cut that in half, and that looks absolutely beautiful, doesn't it? So I'm just going to have a little try here of this beautiful pie.
Beautiful. Absolutely stunning. And all in an air fryer in 20 minutes. All right, I will catch you on the next recipe.